Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. This is episode 100, guys. Episode 100 of our Magic Mon series that has been going on on this channel. And you guys have been showing incense support towards this series. And I am happy that you guys are actually enjoying this series. Now, in this video, what we're going to be doing is, as you guys can see from the thumbnail and title, we are going to be getting ourselves the 16th week. I think this is week 16 of our mystery signings our weekly mystery signings now in this episode i'll be showing you guys the squad that i've been building you guys can see that on the screen right now we'll go in depth a little bit and then we'll go to the event part and then uh, we already know who the first player is the first player is player a is gonna be 90 rated striker Gia Jota, and i don't know who the second player is so i am gonna be selecting a player that i think is gonna be uh, useful for the squad for me and i might actually play with this mystery signing squad in the next series that's going to be coming soon so with this 100th episode we're going to stop mason mount series here and we're going to be starting a series around a new player it's a very he's a very exciting player and i'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy that series for sure because this new player is getting good upgrades and he is still a young player he is from the same club he is from manchester united but he is also getting good upgrades so i think you guys will be uh, happy with that player more rather than this uh, uh, mason mount series but uh, without any further ado let's get into this video now we'll head over to the event part now before that actually i'll show you guys the squad that we have built now this is the squad we have built we have a couple of 90 rated players now before we actually get into the event part let me know in the comment section whom you guys have selected out of player a and player b did you guys go for diego jota or did you guys go for player b now i don't know who player b is gonna be so let's have a look so player b if he's if the player b is a goalie i'll be really happy but it looks like he's gonna be a center back or a center midfielder i don't know why i have a feeling it's gonna be a midfielder or a oh both are attackers okay did not expect this 90 rated left wing and we also have this missed milestone uh mystery players to collect now i am thinking i'll be taking the 90 rated player who's tradable and i can get two 91 rated mascheranos as well because the other two i get only one mascherano and i get an untradable 92 rated and i get for the third one it's one Mascherano, one Dudek, and it's a 93 that is untradable. I mean, the middle one, most of you guys will prefer, I feel like, because you get a lot of things in it. But I am gonna go. I would suggest if you guys haven't done this yet, make sure you guys always go for the uh, reward which has Mascherano in it, a lot of Masheranos, because now you guys are getting 90 or 90 plus players. So it'll be useful to upgrade your players and level them up and rank them up. So yeah. Now, who is this player B? Will it be useful? Will he be useful for us? Because we already have Rooney 90 rated. So left wing we have Doko as of now. Ooh, 90 rated Grealish. Actually, I am confused, you know. You know why I am confused? Because Doko has Doku has good stats. Now just let's just look at Doku's stats. He has 97 pace and 88 dribbling. So those two stats are really good. He has woeful passing. In under passing, what is his crossing stat? He has only 69 crossing, guys. He has only 69 crossing. It is actually kind of bad for a left winger. But if it comes to Jack release, he has good dribbling. His pace is a bit low. I mean, it's way low. He has good passing as well. And under crossing, he has uh, he has 86 crossing, and he has 92 short pass with 92 vision. And he has 4 and after stamina and 4 star skill move and 3 star weak foot. Okay, not bad. Now, Diago Jota is actually the ideal card. I think many of you guys, I would suggest if you guys are starting off and if you don't have a good striker, go for Diago Jota. I would suggest he has 5 star weak foot and he has good, st uh, good stats. He has 4 star skill move, 4 star stamina and you can actually level him up to 95. I mean, both the players, you can level them up to 95 and Diago Jota will get good uh upgrades as well so i think if you guys have not actually gone for anybody yet you go for diego jota i think by the time you guys watch this video maybe this whole event would have been uh, would have come to an end and the new set of people would have come but i am gonna go for jack Grealish just because we need to change uh doku out but apart from that if i didn't have rooney up front as my center forward i think diego jota is actually the player that i would have wanted to take because he looks really good and I personally IRL really like Diago Jota he's a really good striker 
and i think many people will actually be happy with it now for the milestone rewards let's just uh, go for the rewards one because like i said we need masharana cards and i really really think it'll be useful we get benzi so we can actually sell benzi and get two mil as well so that is also a big plus now let's go to the squad and bring in our new player where is he i oh, no wait for a second i thought we actually didn't get him but i know we got him so if i put him here look at that except for pace literally except for pace everything else jack really has better he only loses 14 pace but in case i want to increase his pace i can actually train him so i don't think that's a big fuss for me and i have a decent striker which also helps me out and i think our right wing position also see yes rooney has 91 pace guys i think what jack really relax i get in my center forward and my right wing so i think that is decent now i am happy with this squad now let me know what you guys or whom you guys chose did you go for jota or did you go for grealish like i did and yeah this brings us to the end of this video and the end of the series hope you guys enjoyed the series uh, if you guys want to have a quick uh, flashback of the series make sure you guys check out the channel all the episodes are there and uh, we are going to be starting a new series with a new player very very exciting player and i am really looking forward to that hope you guys show the same support that you showed to this series i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling bye bye